Hey, what's up everyone? Mariano here. And today was such a cool day. I got the chance to hang out with Dave Rhodes from Sony and Ryan Wadamura from our local camera shop, Horn Photo. And guess what? They brought along the Sony Alpha One. They were shooting uh, some fighter jets by our local airport. So I wanted to share that with you and uh, share my chat with Dave Rhodes. So check it out. My name's Dave Rhodes. I work for Sony. I'm their technical rep in Northern California, Utah, and Nevada. We get to all the new toys, which is the good part. So I have the new A1. We're out here at the Fresno Airport hoping to shoot some fighter planes taken off uh, with our with our 200 to 600. Just got it yesterday, but it's an amazing piece of equipment. I've tried it last night with a, a few animals, some deer and stuff. It's very low light, snaps right in, focuses really, really good. We're getting rave reviews on it. It's become our flagship camera, and it's actually outselling the introduction of our new A7S III. So lots of excitement out there for this camera. That's crazy to hear because A7S III, so much anticipation uh, leading up to that camera. Well, and that broke records too. We, you know, you you put in your orders with Japan, which you think you're gonna get, and then you, uh, and they have to come back and tell the factory, hey, we need more. This camera, they had to triple the uh, out that they want. So. It's gonna be one of those back order things and, and we we deliver as fast as we can. Oh, there's a bird. I forgot I had it in silent mode. I'm gonna take it off of that because I don't have to be silent today. When the Alpha One was announced, to me, it kind of came out of left field almost. Like it was like so top secret it seemed like, like, like no one knew about it. Well, first of all, we find out usually 10 minutes before the world does. I've been doing this 35 years, yet I still get excited when a new product comes out or a new lens or something. It's 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 pretty. And this was right after we just introduced the new 85. I mean, the new 35 1.4 GM. Um, and you know, if you believe what you're seeing on all the rumor sites, there's there's more to come. So uh, it's going to be a good year. It's going to be a good year. You know, last year was sucked for everybody. Uh, but it gave a lot of chance for R&D to really catch up and do a lot of good things, so. This has got the stack 50 megapixel sensor in it, and then two new processors that are in here that, that just makes it blaze, blaze fast, so. They're using that technology, and we build it all ourselves, so. The beauty of us, we don't have to rely on anybody for anything, any part. We just build it, you know and uh, we have to share those parts with other, other lenses sometimes, so that's why product-wise it's a little slow to bring out some things lens-wise, but I just found out the other day that the uh, four, 600 F4 takes eight weeks to build, eight weeks. This is just remarkable. But quality lenses, you know, that's what it takes. They're pretty innovative, and you know, they build cameras for, for consumers all the way up to movie production cameras. So they, they share that technology. Uh, and that's color science from our uh, Venice camera, which we use in Hollywood production. And so they share that technology. We share our autofocus technology with them and eye focus and those kind of things. So the company is really good about, and they build the sensors and they build all the parts anyway. So they're really good about making sure that I could start with a, a A6000, which is our number one seller in the world and that lens and take it all the way up to cinematography if I wanted to. The, the E-mount is the same, everything is the same. Uh, so once a, a photographer gets comfortable with shooting with our stuff, the logic is there and you just can go from uh, format to format. It's pretty neat. For what you like to shoot, what are you most excited about with, with, with the feature set? Well, for me, the fact that this can do that, the eye focus so fast and so complete. So when I'm shooting at 30 frames a second, it's actually analyzing the scene at 120 frames a second, which is just, it's remarkable. So I know that I'm gonna get an accurate focus for, for every one shot. It's, it's calculating six calculations in autofocus and in exposure. And if you think about that, that's just mind boggling to me. You would think at $6,500, it'd be a professional tool, which it is. And, and, um, and there are a lot of pros 
uh, buying this. They use it as their, their A camera and then they'll have uh, their, their backups of the A9, A9 Mark II, A7R4. Um, but uh, lots of uh, enthusiasts out there, um, wildlife, birders, uh, uh, all of those things. I shot the, the wildlife and birds yesterday and using the eye focus on both of them and they just they crystal sharp snapped right in in low light. Uh, I was surprised that a 50 megapixel camera could shoot that good at 6.30 in the evening but the sun had already gone down about an hour earlier and it could still focus and track and shoot the subject uh, pretty good. I was, I was pretty impressed. And you know, using the two card slots and the, and the compact CFA card, uh, there's really no waiting for it. I mean, they're so tiny, they're so fast. You put those in there and you can't put, you know, regular gas in a Ferrari. You put something like this in and it just, it just keeps going. There's the buffer. If you shoot this in JPEG or uh, raw compressed, I don't think it hits the buffer until like 700 shots. That's crazy. Which is remarkable. But at 50 frame, at 30 frames per second, it doesn't take long to get there, but then it writes very quickly. You don't have to wait for it. I've been on the sidelines at football games with uh, people shooting other brands, and they're shooting, and then you wonder why the photographer stopped shooting, is because he's waiting for his buffer to catch up. With CFA cards and two slots, you don't have to wait. And you can hot swap too. So if I'm doing video, um, and it fills up A, it'll switch to B slot, and then I can put a new card in A, and it just automatically switches. It's pretty amazing. Even while the buffer's going, I just heard, uh, found out yesterday as well. So if you're shooting still imaging and the buffer's going, chances are it's gonna fill up pretty, pretty darn fast. But if you're shooting full uncompressed raw, and you have shot quite a few in a row, you can still hot swap as, as it's writing. So that's pretty amazing. It looks like the, the lineup is even more robust now, you know, so what does it what does it mean for You know the a9 and the a7 the R series Like what does it mean for that that we have now like a like a flagship, flagship? the a92 is not going away It's it's its own category camera uh, the a1 uh, Has the technology of an a7r4 an a92 uh, even even some even our A7S III, it's got all three of those cameras kind of combined into one powerhouse. But that does Sony doesn't build a camera so and discontinue it. The A92 and the A9 are very viable cameras. Um, sure, they'll drop in price a little bit, which is good for the consumer. But um, we're still going to make the A7R4. We're still going to and, and when improvements come, then there'll be a new model. But uh, we try to build uh, a family of cameras, I guess is a better way to say it. And, and uh, the color science is the same in those cameras. The last three cameras that we've come out with, the A9 Mark II, the A7S III, and now the A1, the color science is the same. And uh, that's important for when you're using a, a B-roll and a, and a third and fourth camera, and you have people different shooting with different lenses, but that all meshes together in post and it looks seamless then. The color science stays the same. And uh, they've done subtle things that interior that, that consumers don't even see that they've done that to help the cameras communicate and talk. Um, this camera is built for the, the new Olympics that are coming up. The Wi-Fi communication, the 8K capabilities, the the, the being able to run the camera remotely in the end zone. So anytime you saw uh, a close up of someone and you could tell that they were right there with a, uh, an A1 and a super wide angle lens and that gorgeous bokeh in the background, all those celebrations uh, were broadcast live uh, with the A1. It was the first time it's been used in a, uh, I guess a commercial situation in the US. Uh, the, the cameras obviously get tested all over the world stealthily, uh, but that was the first big, big event, and you know we introduced it a week before, so it was pretty neat that it made it to the Super Bowl and was right in the end zones. So I think it's just a foreshadowing of what's going to happen this summer and and at the Olympics and everything. You're just going to see it. It's going to be it's going to be crazy. My question is, when do you need me to return that to you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, I, oh. there are only five in the country right now that are actually out in in the in the wild, and we're sharing these around. Um, each of our tech reps, there's there's uh, 13 of us, and so we only have them for a very short period of time. I have mine a week. Uh, I got it yesterday afternoon, and I got to mail it off Friday afternoon. So, um, we're, where, where are they going to fill those orders, <laughs> man? In March, we're trying. Well, that's the problem. That's why there's none. That's why they're not right. the, uh, the wild. Exactly. They're, they're all uh, being held. And this is serial number zero 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 zero. So, uh, are you kidding? No. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be ready March fourth. We haven't missed a deadline yet. So, I put in an order for five of them. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> uh, we started Pro Services, I think it's about five years ago now. Um, it's been growing and growing as more professionals switch from the other brands to Sony. So if you are part of a Pro Services member and you do order a camera, pros get priority because they're out there using our stuff in the public and, and, and they need it as a tool, they need it for their livelihood. So, but the A Pro Services is an excellent program. Uh, uh, 24 hour repair. Uh, we had uh, photographers at the Super Bowl. So if anything went wrong with their cameras, I needed them cleaned. They wanted to borrow lenses. Uh, we do that at any, all the major events uh, every year. We're at all the football games. We were at the uh, Final Four last year, running uh, A9-2s actually, remotely. So uh, yeah, we're there to support uh, professionals and amateurs as well. Two F 16s, Dave. So guys, thanks for watching that video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed hanging out with uh, these two guys, Ryan at Horn and to Dave at Sony. Thanks again for letting me tag along with you guys. Ryan captured this with the Sony Alpha 1. I hope you guys enjoyed that little interview and I did get to play with the camera a little bit and I played around with some of the features that interested me the most. So I'll make sure to share that in the next video. But until then, Peace.